In this video, we download some elevation data for Mount Rainier and Washington. I have the wiki page, and it'll give me coordinates here that I can use to search in the national map. So that's uh, 46 and 121. So I go to the map, click here in the Find Data, View and Download. I'm going to go to the TNM download client under Applications. And next, I come up to the upper center here and click on the coordinates radio button. And I stick in the values. As values are. Say we want a maximum 46, 46 and 47. We want negative 122 and negative 121. Because we're in the Western Hemisphere and have to use a negative number. I'm going to click on the draw AOA and that brings me right to the Mount Rainier area. So I'm going to just scroll my mouse wheel to zoom into the mountain. Now over to the left, I'm going to select the elevation products. And one third arc second, that's good. And I usually use the IMG format. And I'm also going to grab, or try to grab, the one meter imagery. It stopped working for the site today for some reason. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll come up. I just come over, click on the Find Products button. I got a search and it didn't find the pictures. Those would be the JPEG 2000 images. So we'll take another route. OK, let's take a look at the elevation. And you can click on these thumbnail button to show where it is. I click there. You can show it here on the map. I'm going to scroll out so you can see the full size of it. And here's Mount Rainier. And I'm going to download this section. Or rather, I've already downloaded it. You can see here it's a 350 megabyte file and it takes a little bit of time. So the next step I'll take is I'll, I'll get rid of that thumbnail. I'm going to go back to the national map. And I'm going to go to the visualization section, the legacy viewer. What I'm going to do here is take a screenshot of the same area and use that as the color map. Yep. And some weird error. I'm going to zoom in to the Washington area. And here's Mount Rainier here. And try to grab some area around it. Um, it's going to be a fairly low resolution image, but I'll switch here in the upper right to the imagery and that'll give me a picture of the area. I think I'll zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, now I'll take a screenshot. I'll use the Windows key and uh, print screen. If I can find print screen, now oh, there it is. And I'll check in the my pictures, see if I got it, screenshots, and there it is. I would take that for convenience, copy that.
and I'm going to paste it right here in my USGS demo. And there we go. Okay, and the next step, this is the downloaded file, and it's been unzipped here. You take a look at the thumbnail, and there it is. You want to take note of the size. You can see it's dimension 300 by 385. We'll need that to distort it in the compositing software because the IMG file is actually square and not rectangular. Okay, now to convert this into a format that can be read, I'm going to open up the conversion scripts folder. I'm converting from IMG, so I'm going to select IMG source. And I want to use this last one down here, IMG to GeoTIFF. And all you do is you take the IMG file and drag it onto the file right there. And that does the conversion. And it appears right here next to the IMG file. It creates a folder. And this is the GeoTIFF that we'll be taking into the compositing package. Uh, you'll see it's a large file, 10,000 by 10,000. And it's white because the values are all in meters. So it's going to be thousands. The values will be in the thousands. So that's going to be just white. And uh, that's it for downloading. In the next video, we'll take it into the Natron Compositor.